when the coke thing kicked in, it was it opened the floodgate and let a lot of people who were not of the ilk get access to the game. Before that, when heroin was the king, um, if you weren't connected to someone who's connected to someone who was touching, and that would be in the city, that might be, you know, maybe five dudes who really was, you know, sourcing that thing. Ain't if no you money. Connected to one of them, you couldn't get it. Ain't no money. Ain't no money like heroin. You better believe it. If you had blocks, you get a hundred thousand a day from every block, and that's why you got the guys like Boy George and all them. They was getting crazy money. Yeah, Ice. George wasn't around very long, but he nah, made he a, didn't last, a, not, yeah, a, but a he lot was, of money. They, he, he, they was getting crazy yeah. money. And you know, the whole he thing was riding is, in the Bronx in the Lamborghini and, and, and you can't before. compare Havon to Coke. It's it's a totally nope. different game. The money the money is a whole different game. That's right. Havon Havon is is the big you and the big boys. That's right. But I, I was born into that. I was just selling keys though. I couldn't I couldn't put it on the street because I didn't have the right mix. The Spanish brothers that love me they wouldn't give me the mix because they think I would try to take over. But you know. I'll go out there and get some dudes that say they know the mix and we'll put this to get quinine, bonita, whatever, uh, morphine. Scramble. And, and or, you or take or it or. out to you take it out to the street and the dope be like, yeah, man, this is good, man. I said, what from zero to ten, what is it? Man, it's a ten, man. And then you go and mix that shit up to put it on the street to sell now. They'd be like, nah, man, this ain't the same. You want to beat the dope fiend up because it's the same <laughs> shit you just gave him. <laughs> See, so, you know, I went through all that shit. So I stuck I mean, that's my- a very precarious kind of, you know, uh, process, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, you could make a bomb. You could make a fucking bomb in the quinine Benita, right? You could make a bomb. And then 72 hours later, you got talcum powder because the quinine didn't eat the you thing gotta, You got to know what you're doing, and I didn't. See, I don't never have no problem saying I didn't know. I don't know what to do. I'm not I'm not Superman. But I was good with the selling the keys, so I'm making 50000 off 50 keys, so I, I stopped. And I was one group, they was they was buying like four keys every five days for me. So I'm making that's two hundred thousand right there from them. So then, you know, then the other people that buying it, because I'm only selling keys I have on. Right. I'm not selling no breakdowns. So, so uh let's, even with the coat. Let's give them some perspective. Let's give the, the, the listeners some perspective. Uh at this time, how much was a kilo of heroin uh wholesaling for? Well, I would get it. I would get it for 50. I sell it for 107. 107 will beat the price of like, I think 110, 112, 115 in that range. But I would take 50 for myself, me and Tim break down, and then I get 7,000 I give to the muse, the people that's got to push, take this and go get the money and, you know, do it like that. So once... The money's brought to me by one of their lieutenants. I send a lieutenant with the joint. Or they come and get the joint themselves. But I used to be, I was doing this by myself at first. So I, I'm running around with probably a million dollars, a little bit more in my possession, making moves on my own. And then I was like, stick up mentality. I was like, these niggas, somebody going to get me. Yeah. So I said, I, I got to get. I had to put my I had to put the team together again. So I start I start recruiting my team and, and then we we start blowing up. And then after that came the coke, which was me and Big D, you know, so managed with some cartel dudes and we start getting our own shit. So now the that that coke era thing with you, um we had this conversation a few years ago, right? It turned out that some some people that we had no idea was touching them things like that. You were fucking with them. And they had, they had people thinking that they were getting the material from the guy, the man. And they were the actual ones who were the guy, the man. But they're pretending that they had a boss, mm-hmm. right, who had, who, who had all the work or whatever, whatever but it was actually them. And um, then they got somebody finally, somebody finally flipped on them and exposed them. You wanna talk a little bit about that? Well, I'm I'm not too sure which people we saw about. You know why? Because I was dealing with 
like the you know how can I say I met a I met a cartel, I mean Colombians, I dealt with Italians, I dealt with Russians, I dealt with Chinese. So everybody to me, if they connect, they cartel. So my thing is this, you know, D was you 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 know how me and D was. He people cling to him too. You know, because underneath, when they find out D's a humble dude, a real good dude, yes, sir. he's no, you ain't going to mess with him on the other side, like get him pissed off. But he's very cool. He's very giving. Yes. So my thing is this. We used to try to get the best prices. So we get somebody that's going to hit us off with 300 keys, 400 keys, whatever, 500. Keys. As long as the prices is good, we can move them in four or five days, six days. Because we give them out on the strength, yep. and they just have to bring the paper back. But everybody we mess with, they bring that paper back because they know better. And then you know, the co- I don't want to say their names. There's a couple of dudes that nice in them. Even D didn't want me to hit because they said, "No, you can't trust these dudes. These niggas gonna run off, or you gonna have to kill them." But I let the dudes know because there was a couple I did because they was cool with Demencio, and, I, and Demencio was my. Like a brother to me, I like Jim Messi a lot. Talk about so, a couple of his, his brothers that was cool with him, he said, "Yo, shoot!" Before you know why he was alive, he said, "Yo, what would you think about hitting so and so?" And I was like, "Damn, he got bad reputations." But they was like, "Yo," but they good dudes. But I'm telling you, you could trust them. They they do that to niggas that suckers, but they wouldn't do that with you. So I said, so when he died, the two dudes he told me, I said, "Yo, listen, man." I can hit you, but I know you have a reputation. But if you if you cross me, we both gonna die. Because I let them know I know they can have me killed, because they 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 have that type of pull, but I'm definitely gonna have you killed. So one of them, we became so close, but I don't wanna say his name because he's still incarcerated, he's trying to get home. But he would go somewhere. And I started him out, give him like four or five bricks. He goes somewhere and he called me and tell me, yo, I'm almost finished, but, but, but you know, when he coming back, I said, man, you ain't got to do that. Just come, when you done come up here. And he never, he never shortchanged me. And they robbed his spot out of town. And he said, yo, shoot, I got to buy it from now on. I said, why? He said, because this nigga's robbed my spot. So I said, get the fuck out of here. You ain't catch him? He said, I don't even know who it is yet. Mm. So he said, I'm going to buy the joints from now. I said, well, this is what we're going to do to make sure you could get back since you lost some of that stuff. You're going to pay for half, and I'm going to give you half. So if you get 10 keys, I'm going to give you five up front, and you're going to pay for five. So he's like, what? That's good. Yeah, I could I could make my money back then. I said, yeah, go. go." Because i always been like that. Mm-hmm. If you take a loss, I try to help you, you know, get the loss Back. It helps. It helps us to help them. So all my capacity. team, all my team, and, and and this is not saying they might, they work for me because D and me is on the same team. Nice is on the same team. Cool, you know, cool's on the same team. But the whole thing is Tim. The whole thing is we never like people to come to us with the problem. We like people to come to, with the solution, solution of the problem. Right. So you come to something you just happy, but all right, cool. It, it does happen. Well, how are we going? How are we going to make it up? See what I'm saying? So some dudes would say, well, if you give me three extra, I'll just give you all the proceeds back on this. Boom, boom, boom. Keep the, like, say you're giving me four keys on the regular, but now give me seven so I can make back the, the loss. Right. And I'll give you, and I said, all right, that's cool. Now, now you're talking. I'm going to deal with that. So, you know, you had, you know, you had situations like that where we had to help, help brothers get their, their situation back because they're gold mines. So why would you let a gold that's mine right. go down? That's so if right. I got somebody that's you let a, a penny get he's pumping, he's pumping, he's pumping. All of a sudden he takes a fall and I abandon him. What kind of dude I was? Right. I got to come to him and say, all right, listen, what, what you lost? Man, I lost about 600000 All right, we're going to make it piece by piece. We got to piece it off like an apple pie, but we're going to get the money back. So don't stress. Or can you still hold fort though? If you can still hold fort, that's right. Long then we could do run. it. If you can't hold fort no more, then you know I'll go back and I'll discuss it with D and them and Nice and them and all of them and cool. And you, we will have to figure out how can we help them make it up. Because everybody, everybody's not going to have a smooth sailing through their whole 
whole time hustling. It's impossible. That's right. It's very impossible. Especially the more, you know, the, what, what did he say? The more money you have, the more problems. No, the more drugs you have, the more problems. And that's real talk. You're not going to make it without having problems. Police busts, stick-ups things, um, bad business decisions. Yep. It's a lot of, you know, so, you know, you got to be prepared for the good and the bad. But the, as long as the good overrides the bad, just like a relationship with a broad, you got you got something going good. So you got to keep it. That's why sound decisions have to be made. Yeah. Man, we, all, we all have brains. Everybody... You know, D D is 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 great with knowledge. Nice is great with knowledge. Cool is great with knowledge. So you know, you got four dudes that had brains, and then you know the other dudes that was running with, with us that wasn't running every day. They wasn't the mandatory, but they they got a piece of the action because they was, you know, started like the two dudes I started hitting. They they became family, and we all looked out for each other. If there's a beef, we come together. If you got if we need some guns and you got them and we don't have them, you are gonna share them with us. And all this come from the Godfather, me watching the Mafia movies. But I instituted all that. I brought all of us together because nobody really wanted to mess with nobody from another borough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why these dudes out here going crazy, saying this crazy shit. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Bronx. I'm from Man. Nigga, you from New York. Right. Represent your town. That's why we are so weak in jail because they divide us up. Because when you have a beef with somebody on the West Coast, you West don't Coast. come together, then you hit. You talk about, I'm, shit, I'm from Brooklyn. I ain't helping a nigga from the Bronx. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. And vice versa. That's right. Because we from New York. That's right. Which was supposed to be the strongest city. Now you can say, what part of New York? I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Bronx. I'm from Manhattan. I'm from Staten Island. That's irrelevant. But for, in the top of it, the, the, the conversation, you have to say, I'm from New York. If you don't, you make yourself weaker. And I try to institute this to the young kids. You know, never claim your brother, claim your town. We from New York, which was supposed to be the strongest city, the trendsetter. But we don't got so weak because of stuff like that and the snitching and stuff. People can't follow us no more because everybody was behind times back in the day, to, to honestly speak it. That's right. That's and right. not to disrespect no other town because well, I love is, brothers it in is what it is. It is, what it, it is what it is. But now we're not. We're not the strongest town at all. Because we are so divided up, so jealous, so envious, so grimy towards each other. And that's why we losing. That's why the other cities is, it's like, I've had to be from here. I've had to be from Florida. I've had to be from California. I've had, because nobody I've ever seen in jail would ever break their, their, their town down. I'm from D.C., nigga. Right. I'm not from... Southwest, West, Southwest to this. Northeast. I'm from D.C. What part? Oh, I'm from Southwest. But New York does that off the top. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Queens. But what town is that? That's why I asked the niggas, so what, what, what town is that? I don't understand. Is, is, what is Brooklyn? A new, a new city? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is Bronx? A new city? That is so corny. And these younger dudes run with it because they being taught wrong. If you go pick up any good thing from an OG, Pick up the values. Don't pick up him trying to sun you. Don't pick up him trying to get you to do shit that's going to get you locked up Crash again. Crash dummy. Crash dummy. Pick up the values of what the good things he learned. The bad things, let it go. Just like the Godfather movies, let it go. I'm respected by all nationalities because of the realness of me. Italians love me. I just did an interview with John Gotti's daughter. You know, um... I have crazy friends. If I, if I had a wedding right now, you would be asking me, yo, shoot, who's some of these people? Because I have them, and you don't see me with them every day. But if I had to have something big, they show up. I had a dinner one time, the Italians showed up. I could get the Russians to show up. I could get the Chinese to show up. Because of, not because I'm from Brooklyn or from New or Bronx, because I'm a real guy. So f- forget where you're from. Who are you? That's right. You see what I'm saying? Who are you? Forget I'm from this burble. Who are you, though? Are you a real dude? Can you be loyal? Can you be trustworthy? Can you be strong when you have to? Can you be a man that has to, and, and knowing that you can't teach a man how to be a man? Are you there characterized? Is. That's right. 
So the whole thing is, the whole thing is, where New York is so messed up right now. So and it, and it eats me up when I'm out there, and ninety percent of our brothers are lost. They might not tell you they lost, and why they lost? Not only because of themselves, because they listen to these dudes that don't know. That's right. How can you listen to a dude that's going to make you fall off the mountain and he's going to still stand on the side? If I take you anywhere and I'm and we fall because I fell first, I'm never going to tell my people to go to do something that I wouldn't do. And we none of us was never like that. We never like, yo, we got beef. You go take care of it. Nah, <laughs> we got beef. We going to take care of it. You got all these dudes out here now. Finger pushers. Always, yeah, I got a beef with Peter Shoe. But I want you and, and the other guys to go take care of it. All right, why you ain't going? So, something wrong with your finger? Your gun finger? Well, <laughs> see, that's why I don't like. These dudes is following dudes that yep. don't know no better. Yep, yep. You know? Why do you think there's so, there's so many young people dudes that are susceptible to that. Why do you think they're so easily influenced by the worst types of characters? Well, all of them, all of them that's like that, because I have some, I have some that's real, and they, they, they shop like, they, they've been out here mentally for a long time, and mm -hmm. the way they, I, I get the conversations with them. But, e but you ask them, they'll tell you that they're rare amongst their own group, but a lot so of these brothers, A lot of these brothers, you ask the question, I'm going to tell you, why, a lot of these brothers They see these OGs that was somebody, right? And they feel if they follow their lead, they're going to get that way. Nah. Every, you know, this game, and I tell my son this, this game is not just about knowledge. It's luck. Yeah, a nigga that, could walk outside. I mean, you could walk outside right. our house right now and find a million dollars. And then, oh, I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm the baddest nigga. But right. well, you just was right. lucky. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? All right. You don't go to jail for 20 years. You was lucky. Don't mean you was the baddest motherfucker. Don't mean you was the toughest motherfucker. You escaped death. You missed shots. You was lucky. God, everything's on God. But these young dudes out here now is watching too much of this bullshit that's on TV and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Instead of realizing the real world. There's a Cinderella world and there's a real world. What part do you want to be in? And these young dudes... And not all of them, because there's some sharp young dudes out I there got too. A few myself. Just like there's some messed up OGs out there. That's facts. You just gotta see who's vices for you. You gotta see who's who be faking, who be telling talking this talk, but they gonna walk the walk. Because if if if, if anybody tell me I got beef, I'm with you. Let's go take care of it. But if you tell me, well, you know, I I can't. It, it, but you got to go, you know. At, what do you mean I got to go? <laughs> you start, you in this beef, but you ain't going? Right. Because those are the ones that be faking. And I, just, it's not just about beef. It's about everything else they That's do. Right. That's and, right. and these young dudes don't see it. They think like, yo, I'm down with this guy. He's that nigga. He might have been that nigga. He ain't no more. Right. So you got to see, you know. I tell all my homies, all the young dudes, I don't give advice unless you come and ask me for advice. Right. And if you ask me for advice, I tell them, okay, this is what I would do, Peter Shoe. But don't mean it's good for you. It might not be good for you. You might have to do something else because of your whole thing is a little different than how Peter Shoe used to do it. Do it to your gut feeling. You know, you got it. You got somebody that you don't trust in your family. Back up. Look at it differently. See what's going on. Don't do what we used to do back in the day, because it's another ever. The hustle game is different. That's right. Dealing with females is different. Yep. Girls is toxic out here. I don't care. They. That. I don't care what's going on. Ninety nine percent of the problems that happen when niggas go to jail and niggas get killed, it's over a girl. It's over a female. Everybody know that. And then the the break, what kills me is these guys kill each other or whatever they do. One goes to jail, one One's lives. dead. One, I mean, one dies. <laughs> She's going to the next man. That's right. She's moving to the next man. Now, how foolish do you, if, are you just killing these girls because they breaking up with you? 
Man, I would have killed about 40 girls. Because girls was leaving me like crazy because they caught me cheating back in the day. Uh, you know, and suppose I just killed them. I'm going to jail and I still lose the girl. Where's the, see, the train of thought that's in our minds. I don't think there's much of a train of thought. It's just thoughts, no, no train. There's no continuous, you know, idea that's developing and progressing to a point. It's just, I think a thing and I do it. Yeah, I think it and I do no it. Sense. Of course, you got a gun. Because you could pick up a gun now. I mean, that's the easiest thing to do to shoot a nigga. You want to impress me? Shoot a nigga that's shooting back at you. Right. You know, all these <laughs> niggas out here, there's, see, they don't even know the difference between murderers and killers. There's two, di there's two different topics to that, and they don't know the definitions. See, me, a girl leave me, and she's cheating on me, I'm going to tell her, who you fucking with? What? He getting that type of money? Who hit this buff? Hit me off too. Get, get money from both of us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't going to be, and she be like, what the hell? You don't care that I'm cheating? Nah. That's part of the game. That's your coochie. That's that's part of the game. Yeah, that's yours. I don't own that. I don't own that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying so, to manage this thing I got. I'm different. Know. Girls be like, girls that know me now know I'm different. I don't chase no coochie. Never I don't. Have. My thing is this. I love everybody. No, I've never chased. I've never chased. Never. But the whole thing, the whole thing is some of these females, they get you in situations and they don't realize how serious it is. And then sometimes they get killed. Yep. Because if, if me and you get a beef over her and you kill me and you go to jail, I got family members. Right. Well, how did, he, how did Peter Shoe get killed? Well, we can't get him. Well, we can get her. 